fact that this particular grouping, which are obviously follow the Islamic doctrine, and you can probably attest to that from your time in Sweden, are causing these problems. It's not just in Sweden; it's it, it's everywhere. They, you know, so there's something about the doctrine which I think is the elephant in the room that no one really talks about, and it's the doctrine. However, you know, if you're a Muslim. It's the doctrine that you have to follow. I'm sorry about that. Um, Paul, I apologise for the interruption. Russell Brand just came charging into the studio asking if we're live. Russell, darling, just speak to the mic. Uh, we are live. Sorry, uh, Paul, for this. Paul, uh, Russell, I can you say sorry for to Paul, interrupting please? You. Russell Brand, what? have some sense of, you know, diplomacy and don't be so rude. Paul, Paul here was making an important point from Croydon. Oh, and you've just ruined Hello, his moment. Paul from Croydon. Carry on, mate. I didn't mean to interrupt. But Katie did actually invite me in. No, I waved so you I... across into the area. It's so quiet. easy how these, mis these misunderstandings Russell Brand, can occur. Would you mind leaving my studio and I'll deal with you after? You're a very naughty child. <clears throat> Would you mind moving? Hello, mate. How Russell are Brand, we're going to go to the <laughs> news magic. whether you like it or not. This is some news. I, I can, can we please cut we're Russell Brand's mic? We're coming with Brand's pure love. Mic. You yeah. have no love, Katie. darling. Of course we do. Russell Brand, <laughs> out. Out with you. Katie, goodbye, dear. Thank you for getting the Tory government into power, Russell Brand, and goodbye. What um, was so that about? Now, just a little bit of Russell in our day. Paul, I would like to apologise to you. I would like to thank our callers for today. I would like to thank you all for getting involved in the show.